you please give us a couple of recent initiatives that have allowed Eubank to differentiate from competitors in your market? I think there's two different trends that we use uh, right now uh, to build on. One is the mobile trend that uh, we try to push our services to the mobile channel and of course the mobile usage is not the same as, as a home bank usage or even the iPad usage. So we, we uh, look at this as three different platforms that uh, should be designed and, and uh, developed with three different uh, usage uh, in, in perspective. And the second trend is uh, the whole uh, advising uh, part that you can build uh, more sophisticated uh, digital tools for advising and for uh, generating help to the customers. The PFM tools are still very interesting for us where you can, uh, for instance, make a graphical overview of what you have spent uh, for the last month or so. It's, uh, it's a product or service that you can only generate digitally and you do, can only do in a home bank or an iPhone or an iPad, but you cannot uh, get the same overview in, in a call center or or even in a branch. Where do you look to find best practices? What industries? Which competitors? What geographies? There's a lot of industries to learn from and there's a lot of things that we, we look into. We of course look to, uh, to other countries where the banking industry is, is doing well in other countries. Uh, and I think that's maybe the, the main lesson for, for many countries that, that we still focus a lot on, uh, on uh, learning from, from our nearest competitors. But also the telecom industry is, is, is very interesting because they have, in, in Denmark at least, it, the competition is so harsh that, the, that ideas are exploding all the time. Uh, of course it's a lot of marketing tools as well but also product and services are uh, are being developed there that are interesting for us but but also the gaming industry uh, the travel industry is is very interesting to look into so I mean we actually look into almost any industry to to see if, if it could work for us and fit our business model what will banking look like in 2020 I don't know I don't know but it will it will definitely look different I mean uh, I don't know if we have a bank for women I don't know if we have a bank for, uh, for immigrants, if we have a bank who is focusing on, on young people or so, but I, I think it will differentiate, it will segment more, it will be more clever in giving uh, the right customers the right needs. Uh, it hasn't been changing so much if you look at the overview for the last years, but it looks like it, it's going to change uh, even more and I think maybe even the, the finance crisis will, uh, will uh, speed up that uh, process. Yeah.